Welcome to week four. So what's happening in week four? Anything new and unusual, different about week four? I think so. It's called midterm exam week. So we're only four weeks in. We're already doing the midterm exam. So fast track. Uh, okay, so a little bit different of a week. We've got a lot going on. Uh, the study guide's already posted, as, you, as you've already seen. I posted it a week early by accident, just kind of uh, used to doing things a certain way. I haven't done an eight-week class in a while. I've been doing 16-week classes, and in a 16-week class, we take a whole week for the midterm and the final. So I post the study guide the Wednesday before that week. So I, same habit, I did the same thing, boom. So you got a little early. That's that's an advantage advantage to you, okay? So so week four, you, uh, we got to finish chapter six and seven first. So read those, get your definition assignment done, put that to rest, then go to the study guide and study that. So your study guide is, uh, I've took all the terms we've done from the, all the definition assignments. Again, that's why we did the definition assignments. I took all those terms and reduced it down to about half. So you're not responsible for all those terms, just the ones on the guide. <clears throat> so if a term is not on the study guide, there won't be a question on the exam about that term or, or those key people. So, uh, so study those. And then the midterm opens on Thursday, July 15th. As, as Wednesday turns into Thursday at midnight, it opens. So it's open all day Thursday through Sunday and all the way to midnight. So four full days to do part one, multiple choice, 40 questions, 40 minutes. And part two, supplemental lectures, uh, three essays, 75 minutes uh, you choose from the six remaining supplemental lectures. I take two away, okay? I'm just going to give you a heads up about supplemental lectures, and I, I've been kind of talking about it, and I keep on mentioning, make sure you know what's going on with these supplemental lectures. So I, I, my other campus is two weeks ahead of you, and then they just did their, their midterm exam. And, and I, I always say that it's, it, there's always a handful of people that don't follow the instructions as far as writing a review. They just simply don't read the instructions. They don't watch these videos, and they just open the exam. Okay, here's, here's the subject. I'll Google it, cut and paste. And you know, that's, not, that's not the assignment. You're, you're reviewing the, the lecture. So you, you're only using information in the, in the lecture itself, don't don't go anywhere else. You shouldn't go to the textbook, the notes of the class. You shouldn't go to the internet, just just the lecture itself. So, your your lecture notes should, should be segregated from everything else. You, you should have your supplemental lecture notes separate, <clears throat> and you you've got the outline that I gave you. So I'm providing you an outline. So, understand when you write your essay, if it's on the outline, include it in your essay. Write about it because that's if, if you don't say anything about something on the outline, you're going to get points off for that. So I'm, I'm giving you all the tools you need. All you got to do is write it. So understand what the rules are. Um, if, you're, if you're confused, uh, go to week one, modules, modules week one, sorry, scroll down to assignment instructions, sup, what's a supplemental lecture. Please uh, read that, listen to the video tutorial, uh, re read the midterm exam instructions. Uh, that's part of that package that I posted as an announcement with the study guide. So you know what's, what's going on. So I would say the, the, the uh, class that just finished their midterm, I, I would say there's probably more than usual that did not follow the instructions. So I'm not, I'm not sure how to get this across. The, the, the problem is that people that aren't following the instructions aren't listening to this video either, probably. So hopefully if you are one of those people, hear what I'm saying. Take some time with the instructions because it's not difficult. How, how do I know it's not difficult? Because the majority of people do well and, and they, do it, they do it right. So, you know, if I've got, you know, three quarters or, or more, 85% of the class doing very well, it means that the instructions are clear to, to me anyway. The other 15% or whatever that might be, it might be a little bit more than that this time for that class anyway. Uh, you know, you're not, you're not spending time with the instructions and the grading guidelines. So, you know, heads up, uh, spend time with the supplemental lectures so you know what they are. If you don't know what they are, if, you, if you, you're confused and you don't understand that, talk to me, email me. We can Zoom together. You can drop in on Wednesday in my Zoom session, and I can help you through it. Understand it's not complicated or difficult or, you know, overly challenging, but there are some uh, requirements that I expect you to follow to, to get full credit, okay? Okay, so that's all I've got. Uh, please take advantage of Zoom and talk to me if you're struggling with anything about the midterm exam at all or yeah, anything in general, okay? Thank you.